Hello everyone. Uh, the next topic is going to be swing tension and our grip pressure. I'd like to talk a little bit about the grip pressure here. No matter what grip you're using, whether it's interlock, overlap, to get the most tension out of your grip, you want it in your fingers. We've got to get the grip in your fingers. And I know everyone wants to get more distance. When we get more distance, we've got to get the grip in your fingers, not in the palm of your hand. So we're going to get it in the grip, in the fingers, with light pressure. Okay? We don't want to start gripping it down here, we want to grip it up here in the fingers, here, and then we're going to go down to the ball. Okay? So the reason, the reason Kevin is demonstrating that, that you want to grip it in front of you, when you're on the golf, when you're on the driving range, every fly you're going to have is nice and flat. So you put the club down, it'll be consistent every time. But when you get on the golf course, as we all know, Wildcat, all the, all the hills and everything give us lots of different lies. Now, if I'm on a downhill lie and I put the club down and grip it there, that's going to be a much different grip than if I'm on an uphill lie and I grip it up here. So to get consistent and practice and practice and practice, you want to grip it in front of you and then place the club down. And that'll be the consistent same grip every single time. Exactly. So when you're practicing on the range and on the course, remember that why does our practice swing feel so much better than when maybe when we get on the course? It's more relaxed. The tension in your hands, it's a lighter grip. Relaxed, lighter grip reduces all the tension in your forearms. And then we just make the old Ernie L swing. Boy, that looks so good. Like, what do I, can't we swing like that on the course? <laughs> Probably because the tension's a little too tight in our hands. So practice this on the range, and then we can take it to the course.